Yo guys, what is up? That Dad here, and I have another awesome episode of Power Rangers Legacy Wars coming to you. So, uh, with that being said, let me see if the music is going here. I can't hear it. Okay, sounds like it's there, and we're going to leave it right there. Alright guys, so the studio is still in the works. I'm waiting on a lot of stuff coming from Amazon for all that. So, today, let me see, we are going back to the basics. So, this is an episode that I've been wanting to do for a while, and so why not today? So we're going to have some fun, and we're going to go to the training pit. You only get one leader, and we're going to test out all the assists with that leader. I'm probably going to get my butt kicked, but you know what? That's okay. We're going to have some fun. We've got a lot of morph boxes to open up, so we're going to start to get these guys opened up and see what we can get. Maybe we can get some legendary shards today. Who knows? Danny and Zack. Alright, so Danny and Zach, let's get this other free box opened up. So that's two more boxes right there. Let's see how many we're going to get in this episode opened up. Alright. Billy, so now we got the corruption box. Let's get this guy popped open. I've had some decent corruption boxes this week, some epic ones. Let's see if we can get a legendary. It doesn't look like it. Just some rare. But Danny Delgado, rare. He's up to level 6. I can put him to level 7. So that's pretty legit. I do like rocking my Danny Delgado every now and then. So we also have a super over here. We also got this one from the challenge, Legend in the Making. I only got four wins. I was I, I had some really tough opponents tonight. Um, had some really good wins. Uh, everyone I fought was high level, high... Their talent trees definitely worked on. Ooh, some snide epic shards. That's cool. I'm still practicing with my snide. I've... Uh, Tinkered with them for maybe like, ooh, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes of game time. Not that much. But if you have seen me in the leagues there, I have rocked out my snide a little bit. Some Gia. Alright, so that gives us a super box right there. We'll go ahead and pop the super box just so I don't forget about it. That was one, two, three, four, five, six. So now we're at six more boxes right now. Lots of orbs. Zane, very nice. We're going to claim this real quick. Alright, 26 power crystals, very nice. 11 legendary essence, that is crazy. 830 special balance orbs, very, very nice. And let's see what else we get from this one. Kimberly, Robonize, they're legendary? No, but there are lots of epic shards. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I will take the epic shards. Look at all those Kendall Morgan shards. 243. Jeez Louise, Kendall. But the 11 legendary shards, is, uh, essence shards, is pretty legit. Essence shards. Essence. Whatever you call it. So, I did change up my Magna Defender team a little bit. And you know what? I'll show you guys a fight with uh, the switch up that I did. Actually, you know what? Screw it. That fight sucked. Freaking Lord Draken kicked my trash. Alright, so... Let me see, that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is 8 right here. Gotta try and remember that. 8 morph boxes. Ha 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 ha. Ooh, some Tommy Oliver epic shards. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Alright, so we're gonna go through here. Let's see if we can get some wins with this uh, Red Ranger team. Going back to the training pit. Going back old school. Mm. Let's do it, guys. You're going to watch me get my butt kicked tonight, probably. Because we're also going to switch out to the different assists. And those different assists, I don't necessarily uh, have their talent trees done. So my hit points are going to be like under 2,000 for some of those teams, probably. Oop. Oh, well. It is what it is, guys. So here we go. Alpha 5, an annoying character. There we go, there we go. I, I have some decent hit points because of my Zack. Uh-oh. Such an interesting fight. I don't know. I mean, I'm not great with him. 
So it's definitely a little nerve wracking playing against the Alpha 5 because they can be so freaking annoying as crap. Nope, no block. Okay. I was laying on that attack. I don't know why I did it. It totally block baited me. Uh, Alpha 5 is so freaking annoying. Uh, too bad I didn't have one more one more attack point. Oh, come on now. What? Oh no! Oh no! Freaking Alpha 5! Man, that fight went on forever! Forever! Alright, but at least I hung in there for a while. Didn't completely get my butt kicked. So, not too bad, not too bad. Alright, let's do this team again. And hopefully I can get a win. And let's see what happens when I switch out to the other teams. Because, man... I probably need to drop some medals before it starts getting to be like fair fights with these separate teams, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Alright, so here we go. Let's see who we're fighting. Oh, yay, a Lord Draken with an Alpha 5 and a freaking Black Dragon. Yeah, that's gonna be freaking fun. Uh oh, the block is gonna hurt. Oh, come on, man. Oh, geez, for real? Freaking Lord Draken. Now, I would have done a lot more damage had I put in my Kim Assist, but I was wanting to do some, uh... Oh, man, he keeps getting me with that stupid fake. Freaking Lord Draken. Oh. I need to get that guy so I can learn how to fight against him. When you get the characters and you start fighting with them, like, you can get so much better fighting against them. Because then you know how how they play, what to look out for, the styles to play with them as. So let's see, there's one, I think it was eight, right? Yeah, I was on eight morph boxes. Alright, so I need to go see what other assists they have so we can finish covering these assists for the training pit today. Alright, so we're going to put in our Red Ranger and uh, why not Trini, NPR Trini. Okay, so let's see. We've got our Jason, he is at level 8, that's not too, too bad. Our health dropped down to 2500 with that switch. And where's my NPR Trini? There she is. Alright, so this is going to put us below 2,000 probably for sure. Oh, come on now, Power Rangers. There you go. <gasps> Team health is 1566. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is not going to be good, guys. This is not going to be good at all. We are in some trouble playing with these training pit teams. This is the biggest downside to the talent trees. It kind of does away with your level. So, like, at least before, if you want to tinker around with some different characters, if you have the level, then you could at least, you know, have a chance. And here we go again, the same team, and I'm just having some fun, and this guy's all serious. With the two shot. Talent trees, guys. Talent trees. It... It's cool, it's a cool system, but it's pretty broken. It's pretty broken. It, it makes it so difficult to try out these new characters. Any new characters, any new teams that you want to try out with. And it sucks because the AI isn't really good enough. Oh, come on now. Alright, restart the game. What is going on here, Power Rangers? What is going on here? Let's see if it loads up this time. Otherwise, this is going to make for a short video. 
If not, I'll just check back in with you guys if it doesn't load, but it looks like it's going now. The game is starting. Gosh, and we I start talking a little bit of trash on your talent tree and you kick me off the system. I'm not even live. What the crap, Enway? Get it together. Okay, let's try another battle. Hopefully we don't run into that Lord Draken again, because holy crap. I'll just let him freaking kill me and get more perfects. I don't even care. It's not even worth trying to fight. Nah, it's worth trying to fight, but still, it sucks. Training pit characters. No fun to play with unless you got talent trees done. Alright, this is a... Man, the double block meta. And look at this. One, two. This is a level six. Now, before the talent trees, because I've been playing longer and more, I'm a higher level. So, like, before talent trees, I would have been stronger or at least more comparable to that level six. If that was their main team, it probably would have been more comparable to the, my team because I wouldn't have had as many orbs. But these darn talent trees, man, they make it difficult to even have fun with some new teams like this. Alright. Let's try... I mean, I haven't even had a chance to do anything. Let's try uh, Danny Delgado and Trini. I mean, if anything, then I'll just switch up my leader to a different leader with these assists. So... Let's have some fun with Lord Zed with these assists. We'll still highlight the training pit assists, but I, I just can't do it with these with these characters. I need at least some higher level characters. I don't even know what that's going to do because I don't have any talent tree done on my Lord Zed. So, you know, game is broken if you want to have fun and play with new characters. I'm not going to lie. It's like invest to your three teams and that's it. See, I'm still at 1699 on my health. This is going to be like a two, three shot kill. See, look at this. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, before the talent trees, I might have had a chance. Luckily, my Lord Zed is pretty strong still. I knew I had to beat her to that. I knew she was going to do that crap. Oh, no, I lost. That was it. At least I put up a better fight. Freaking A. It's the biggest downside of this game. I'm thinking of, like, restarting another account from the actual training pit and seeing how hard it is nowadays to... For new players see the difference compared to like you know back in March when the game launched that's when I started playing was launch day very first day now I don't even know what to do because it's like I mean I don't mind having fun but at the same time I don't the, it's not even close fights like, it's so hard to put up a good fight. So screw the training pit. Oop. So, I've been... Here we go. Let me look at my Rita. So, I actually did some talent tree on her, as you guys can see. And I did level her up to level 4, um, which is where most of my coins went, because I was at 19,000. And I switched that up for my Magna Defender team, so now for my Magna Defender team, I have Rita and uh, MMPR Pink. Instead of my... I replaced my White Tommy with Rita. Still low cost, a little bit more combo possibilities, so that's kind of why I made that change. Um... And uh, it worked out pretty decently. It worked out pretty decently. Wait, what team do I have right now? So we're going to rock out Lord Zed with Rita Assist. MPR Rita Assist. I'm just going to say screw the training pit right now because, guys, with the talent tree, it's just so hard to highlight new characters that I haven't put anything into. 
Like it really sucks that the game's that broken. So I'm thinking it, what I'm thinking now is like, I have some strong teams. I don't really care about being like the top. So I just want to have a lot, I want to at least be able to hang in the top league with a lot of different teams. So if I can, you know, if I can do that, then that'll be good. So I think I'm going to take a lot of my essence and instead of putting it into just my top three teams of just of just uh, spreading out the wealth of my essence into a bunch of different teams. So we might get this win against the Magna Defender. Gonna be really close. Oh, he barely got that block off. Oh man, one shot kill for both of us. Got him! Got him! Hoo -hoo -hoo. Nice, that was a good fight. I'm happy about that one. I was like like not completely into the fight I was like scratching my head in the middle of it there we go so I mean or if I put in like my strong assist or a strong leader that I that I've been working on then you know I could throw in more different teams but honestly I just want to start to get like all of my characters like level one talent tree done that way I can still have some fun with them because I as I showed you guys I can't and I was worried about that when I wanted to plan out that episode for the training pit, but, you know, it is what it is. What was that? Nine morph boxes? Nine morph boxes. Okay, so we're at nine. <laughs> I'm trying to keep count. Now, we could go through and open up a bunch. Uh, we have uh, two, that other super I still need to open. So, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Yeah, so I'm at nine. All right, let's see. Rita. Oh, crap. Got her. Oh, just out of range for that one. I haven't practiced too much with my Lord Zed for a while, but um, Noob Solo says I'm still pretty decent with him, so... Which I think I am pretty decent with Lord Zed. He plays the way I like. Ah, oh, crap. That move by Rita is so freaking strong. It's crazy. I wish you could combo off that. Oh my goodness. If you could combo off that, that would be so freaking ridiculous. Nope. Oh, she does have a block. That was a gamble, and I lost. Burn. All right, I'm gonna switch up the team again. So, why don't I switch it up to my Psycho Red? I freaking love playing with my Psycho Red lately. I've been having a freaking blast with him. As you can see, this is a little bit different type of an episode now since what I was planning had to change. What the crap, Power Rangers? Knock off your lag. So let's go to my team three. This is my Psycho Red team, up to 3469 now. I'll show you his talent tree. I mean, I got orbs to level up more. Um, but I've been having a lot of fun with my Psycho Red team. I really like this team. I like the setup. Um, having the Billy with the Alpha 5. You can keep your distance with Psycho Red, which is really good. So let's do some battles here. And uh, since the, my last video where I highlighted Psycho Red, I wasn't really uh, practiced with him, but I've been like I said, I've been practicing with him quite a bit in the leagues and, of course, in the challenges. Um, I threw my Danny into the challenges and uh, then I took him out and put my Psycho Red back in just because I have more fun fighting with Psycho Red than I do with other characters. And I'm getting lag. Oh my goodness. You know, usually where I'm at, my 4G is actually pretty good. But 
right now, not so much. That sucks, I just lost his medals. Burn, freaking burn, Enway. I mean, I'm only on one bar, but usually, no, I'm on three bars. I was going to say, I always get really good 4G signal. For me, uh, 4G plays better than Wi-Fi, even though I have freaking awesome Wi-Fi. Here, let's go donate some. There we go. How many donations am I at for the week? Let's see. I'm pretty chill tonight, guys. Not even going to lie. 1945. So I definitely lead the way in donations. Definitely lead the way in donations, that's for sure. Alright, let's get back into it and... Battling with Psycho Red. Let's go. Let's open up some more boxes. We've only got nine. I want to open up more. I want to do like 19, 20. Let's go for 20 morph boxes. Let's see what... <gasps> what? All right. Oh my goodness. This is just not going to cooperate. I'm also in the middle of like updating my studio and my Wi-Fi, so... Maybe I should play in my Wi-Fi, but I'm also not in a normal spot as I would be. I don't know. I'm just having issues this episode. Holy crap. Now my phone is on 3G. Well, that'll be good to like open up morph boxes. So I think I'm going to have to close down the episode here, guys. Sorry about that. Um, I will pick it back up tomorrow for sure. So let's go through, let's open up this grand box. So this makes it 10. We're going for 11 boxes this episode then. Look, I'm getting lag on the morph box. Catherine, lag on the morph box. This is all my fault. This one is not the game lag. This is just my connection. All right, let's see, the final box of the night. Man, I got so many Catherine Hillard. I want to get her up to level nine so bad. I just, the coins, the coins. Kendrix, Trini, Tommy, 43 for him. I could get him to level 7 if I had the coinage. Robo Knight, and oh, pulled another two Psycho Red Legendary Shards. I've been pulling so many Psycho Red Shards this week, it's crazy. It is absolutely crazy. So, yeah, I'll sh go back. Look at that glitch. There we go. Oh, it moves so slow right now. There's no way I could fight. So yep, like I said guys, I did some work on my Rita. And got a bunch on her level 1 talent tree done. So, you know, it does take a lot because uh, she is, of course... Uh, wait, is she legendary or epic for her? She is epic, that's what I thought. Okay, yep, because she's got the 4 levels. So, I mean, it's pretty expensive. But, like I said, eventually I want to get all these, all these characters, like their talent trees, some of it done. So then I can have more fun and same thing with my leaders go through and I'll start with like my more favorite leaders that I like to play with, start getting them hooked up. I mean, I think I've got some Danny hooked up. See, I've got a little bit of Danny Delgado hooked up. Maybe I'll just work on like my commons. I think I have a little bit of my cat. No, I don't have any of my cat. My cat is a lot of fun to play with. She is pretty strong. 1299 health. And that's at that's at level five. So with level eight. Or if I were to take her up to level nine, it'd be twelve ninety nine on her health. That's crazy. Crazy. But I don't know. That's the work that's coming for the game, guys, is just focusing not so much on having the most beastly team, but I want a good all-around setup for all my teams, for all of them to be pretty balanced. So, since Enway isn't balanced right now, I just got to go through and balance my own teams. Alright guys, but that's about it. Sorry about the connection, but I hope you like my videos. And guys, I'm only like 5 subscribers away from 1,000 subscribers. It is absolutely insane. It's totally freaking awesome, guys. Thank you so much for all the support. 
I really do appreciate it. And again, I'm working on a lot of new stuff. The studio comes first and then uh, new content for the channel will be coming uh, this year. So guys, thank you so much for all the support. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. That dad, almost 1,000, 1,000 hype. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm out.